Hey there, kids. Welcome back. David from Atomic Candy. Good Lord. What is with you? I the way. Yeah, I see that. David from Atomic Candy and the lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter, my amazing wife. And we are back with the weekly roundup. We got a lot of stuff with the weekly roundup before we get going with that. Wanted to say hello, Alex. Alex, from, yay! From Stuck in Time. We met her. At Stuck in Time. Oh, Sunday. Yes. Um, we were in Stuck in Time, and then we went back today. We had a pre-order to pick up, and she was there again. Mm -hmm. And um, she knew us when we walked in. So, yeah, someone recognized us. Yeah, she amazing. said that she watches our video, so wanted to say, hey, Alex, and it was wonderful to meet you. Um, if you're at Stuck in Time or nearby, run in and say hi. Mm -hmm. Let her know that uh, we gave her a shout out. Yes. So, round up. We'll go ahead and get started and start with something we haven't seen really on here before. Mega Constructs. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because these are starting to get really popular. Yeah, but they're like figures. little mini figures. Yeah, they're like an uh, inch and a half mystery tall. Mini minis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're Lego ish. Yeah. And the reason I'm showing this is because that is a five pack that they're coming out oh, with. Oh, wow. They're doing a five pack and then they're doing the Wind Raider exclusive mm -hmm. two pack that has the He Man and the Skeletor there, mm -hmm. the lighter colored Skeletor. That will be an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so if you're into the Mega Constructs, they got more stuff coming out. Or if you're out. thinking about getting into something mm -hmm. else, Mega Constructs is out there. Yeah, they usually sell for about five bucks a piece. Oh, okay, that's not that's bad. Not I've bad. seen those yeah. in stores, Walmart and stuff like that. Yeah, Walmart's so they're got out. Them. And they you know, do they're other stuff like, uh, like Futurama and Star Trek and mm -hmm. things like that. And all well, that's pretty much it for Mega Constructs. He so, made a big deal like he was about to show well, 10 things. Well, it's something. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, do you want them to come up with 10 things every no, week? No, because I don't that'd be anyway. That would be too much. Mm -hmm. um, and, <laughs> although some companies like doing that. They love to just saturate the market. Mezco. Yay, Mezco. Mezco has another Cyclops, and this is a classic 60s-looking Cyclops with the eye blasters. You see he's got... Four different visors because he's got the smoking visor, he's got the blast visor, the big blast visor, three heads, and there's a lot going on with this figure. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not familiar with Cyclops. No, I don't know who that is. The visor blocks the ray because the ray never stops coming out of his eyes. So the the visor is to keep it under control, mm -hmm. and that's why he has one of the hands is like two fingers because mm -hmm. there's a little switch and he press the switch to pop the visor open so we could blast people oh. and this one lights up oh. so those blast effects mm -hmm. glow okay and it's a px previews exclusive so i believe this is the second cyclops that mezco has done mm. then freddy krueger oh. coming from mezco and if i'm not mistaken weren't his sleeves also striped yeah the whole sweater. or is this the new freddy it looks like the original one. It looks Freddy. like the original one because they're going Nancy in the base. Yeah, on the base. You're mm -hmm. right. And uh, he's got four different heads. One of them was with the peel, of fate, peel away skin on his face. Mm -hmm. He's got the bleeding finger, two yeah, different claws. When they cut his finger There's up. a lot going on with this. And they're as they're starting to do horror now, Yeah. this is probably what the fourth one in their horror series. Yeah, because you have the Michael Myers. I have the Myers. And, and I think you said it's a Jason. There's a Jason coming out in December, and mm -hmm. in November, they're supposed to release Ash. Mm -hmm. So this one, which is coming out in the, like, March of uh, 2019, I think. And this is comparable to uh, NECA. NECA has that horror line. Yeah. But aren't the NECA's a little bigger? Uh, a little bit. These are six and a half inches tall. The neckers are about seven inches. Okay. But the neckers will run you about 30, and these are going to cost you about 80. Oh, yeah. So if but, you want to save some money, yeah. you can get the neckers, and they're very comparable because they look just as good. But these are mixed media, and they have 32 points of articulation. Oh. So it's okay. it's a quality trade off. Okay. I'm not saying the neckers aren't good, but yeah. you know, if you wanted to a higher end than the NECA, yeah. this is your pick and they have a Jason Voorhees living, doll. living dolls part two Jason 
with the sack on his head and mom's head there. Mm -hmm. And the sack does come off. Oh. And there's his face, which kind of looks like the Chucky. Yes, yeah, what I was about to say. Yeah. That does look like Chucky. You see he's got the, but he got the cleft scars lip. yeah, on mm -hmm. his face. And I think this one is cheap. I think it's like 40 bucks. Oh, wow. Well, that's like that. a living dead doll. Yeah, living dead dolls aren't too much. And this thing, I, I don't... Is that a living dead doll? No, it's not. It's an action figure. It's only jointed at like the head and, and the shoulders because the arms go up and down. That looks scary. Michael Myers. I You saw the Jason of this at Stuck in Time. Yeah. Remember? It's yeah. about... Yeah, but look yeah, how big six his inches hands tall. are. Yeah, he's all clunky looking. I don't know too much about this series. Yeah. And that's going to do it for Mezco. And I want to show this oh, from Mondo. Mondo. Yeah. Part two, because He Man was released last month. Mm -hmm. And you only had a 30 day window to get the He Man. This is a one sixth scale figure. And Mondo, I pointed this out uh, a few weeks back when mm -hmm. I showed that one. They've been teasing people at conventions for two years going to SDCC and NYCC and, you know, LA and mm -hmm. all these other comic cons and having them on display and people, they have like four, five, what, four of them, I think yeah. four on display. And people are like, when are you coming out with them? When are you coming out with them? Well, yeah, we don't are. know. Get around They're finally it. doing it. Mm -hmm. And this is the Mondo Skeletor and it is only available until November 27th. And then oh. that's, and then you're done. Mm, that's a nice so, one. It is. Yeah. It is. I like these. Mm -hmm, you said so. And that's it for Mondo. And we're going to take a look at NECA next. NECA. NECA, who has another Jason. Which version is that? God, if I only knew. Because that's the bad <laughs> one. Instead. I thought he already had uh, this one with the might be a, a, I don't know. This might be a newer Jason. Because mm. the jacket. Well, the the uh, body mold, you know, the stance yes. is different. Yes. But I know the bag on his head thing has been out. He's got a fire poker, a fireplace poker, and a screwdriver, and all kinds of weird stuff. Mm. And a really deformed face. Yeah. He's got the mask, a really deformed face, and then this the sack. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to say it looks like Jason, too, like you were saying, where he had the sack on his head. I can't, I'm not 100% on that. I just know that they announced that this is a new Jason that's coming out. Since we're talking about NECA um, and kind of like horror stuff, mm -hmm. GameStop right oh, now, yes. all horror-related figures, 25% off. That's right. And that includes also that that's all your NECAs. All your NECAs. And the uh, Primal Rage Funkos. Yeah, Funko. Anything that's horror-related. Horror is 25% off GameStop, and it's for sure because we bought something today. Yeah, and you'll see that yeah. in our next hunt video coming mm -hmm. up So soon. just letting you know if you were thinking about it. Yeah. Especially some people were thinking about those primal figures. Yeah. Um, but they if, didn't know. If you, you were on the fence and you don't yeah. want to plug in 15 bucks a piece for them, yeah. now's the time. Yeah, because they're 25% off. Yep. So just want to throw that out there. And another Michael Myers. Oh, good, coming because from I Mecca. was just saying that they didn't have a Michael Myers. And I'm wondering, I think this That's is Rob based. Zombie. Yeah, this is the Rob Zombie one, because look at the pumpkin. Well, look at his face, too. Michael Myers' face wasn't tore up like that. Yeah. I think you might be right. I think that's the Rob Zombie version because yeah. it didn't say which version it is, but yet another horror. I think so because Myers I was see, I saw that on uh, uh, Amazon website. Yeah. And um. I like it. And he has a, four, a fireplace poker, too. I don't remember him killing nobody with no fireplace poker. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <I don't> know. <laughs> He's got a head. Yeah. But, yeah. But that one is cool because I, I was considering getting that one. Mm -hmm. And then they also have one with him and the little boy, Michael. In That's the, right. Um, clown in the outfit clown outfit. That um, I was thinking about. And they've got the Nun. And this is their 8-inch line. You know the 8-inch ones and they look like Migos? Yeah. This is for their 8-inch line. They okay. haven't done anything for that in a while. Not okay. since the uh, Freddy is a Chef like some months ago. Oh, I remember that yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a change-out head so that she can Scream. go from creepy to very creepy. Yeah. 
And that's it for NECA. We're mm. going to dive into Sideshow. Uh oh. Yeah, Sideshow's got a lot. And this is Alphonse Elric mm -hmm. from um, Full Metal Alchemist, which is actually a really good anime. It's really well written. And the live action version is not good. I'm uh, sorry, not good, but not bad either. If you have, because uh, you know how sometimes they, they take these animes like Death Note, which was a good anime, and then they made a live action version and you watched it and you were like, is this the same show? They did the live action version of, uh, of Full Metal Alchemist and they nailed it. It looks really good. It's in Japanese though, so you get to read. <laughs> but I like that thing on his shoulder. I think it'll make a nice tattoo. Mm -hmm. That's a marker that keeps him intact because I think I mentioned this to you before. He's a disembodied spirit mm -hmm. inside the uh, suit of armor. And the head comes out and the second marker is inside the neck because this suit is hollow. I don't have a picture of it, but I've oh. seen it. Mm -hmm. So it, it, that's pretty significant to the character. Okay. And Alphonse Elric is 600. Hmm. And is that something shooting up out of his back? He has like this long uh, feather oh, or talus that comes out, out of the top head. of his I helmet. Exactly. I see it now. Yeah, it floats out of the top of his helmet. Mm -hmm. And also, it's mixed media. You see the leather straps yeah. holding the uh, side bits on. And Alphonse Elric, again, it's the exact same statue, but this one is painted with a more of a silver tone and this one is also six hundred dollars oh that's not bad at least it wasn't like yeah. a thousand no it's it's just a repaint mm -hmm. for you know your taste yeah. if you watch the animes mm -hmm. just a repaint for your particular taste but they're both the same value okay aquaman he from good. prime one studios and aquaman is one of those characters that you can never seem to get right you know, like uh, Green Lantern. Mm -hmm. Show me a Green Lantern statue that doesn't totally suck. Mm -hmm. uh, there, it's not easy. Uh, Aquaman is the same way, although the seahorse Aquaman is pretty decent. Yeah. This one is really nice. They did a he great job. He looks really because the, the other ones he had like long hair. Yeah, and he comes with two different tridents. He's going with two different heads too. Yeah, he, that thing he has. Head. Yeah, he has an alternate head as well. It's Prime One Studios, so you know they're going to go all out on it. Yeah. And here are the two head sculpts. Although I personally, if it was up to me, there's the exclusive head. Um, but if it was up to me, I would have had like a clean cut and a long haired version because he's also known for having long hair and a mustache and beard. So those are the ones I've seen before. Yeah. I've never seen him like that, but I think he looks good like that. Yeah. And he is 800, mm, 800 bucks $800. for this statue. A bit much. And now we're going to take a look at some bear bricks because they've been oh, doing yeah. a lot of bear That's bricks. Miss Piggy, four hundred percent markup. Is it? No, she's just. Oh, they're all shaped like that. That's mm -hmm. not her boobs. <laughs> oh, oh my god! So god. <laughs> okay. You get both. You get the original little mini with it too. Oh, okay. For one hundred twenty-five. Hmm. One hundred twenty-five dollars. You wonder why it's so much. And you can't get Miss Piggy without getting Kermit. Who is also 125. Yeah, you're getting two. And you also get the mini. I this. don't know why it comes so much. Well, because of the size. Oh. I guess. Um, I, don't I don't know. It's a lot of vinyl. I <laughs> and guess who that is? But um, from South Park, the police officer. You ready for this? Mm -mm. That is Robert De Niro from Taxi Driver. Robert De Niro? I saw Taxi Driver. That's Robert De Niro. Get rid of the ears. Mm. Remember he shaved his head into the Mohawk? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Robert De Niro from Taxi Driver. I'm like, how did you go from doing Disney characters, because that's well, all Robert we've De seen, Niro. to Taxi Driver? And then they do a thousand mock-up. This is not a 400% increase. It's a thousand in increase. You see how tall that is. It's like mm. three feet tall. 460 for De Niro. Oh, you can get a... You can get a statue, a science <laughs> statue, a hot no. toy or something. Wow. For that price? Yeah. You better really I like... I thought that was... um. What, what was the, what's the police officer from uh, South Arthur, Park? Officer Bar Brady? Yeah. Yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> really? I, that, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I don't know. I guess oh, the glasses and the maybe. jacket. I don't know. 
And this is a cyber demon from the video game Doom. Mm. Doom. A lot of detail. Yeah. Ugly figure. Yeah, it is. It is. A heavy, it looks like a big heavy piece. It does. And it has two heads. Oh. And that's the second head. And this, the cyber demon is two, I'm sorry, not two. Well, seven, I was about to say $200. 700. <laughs> 700. Oh, put, 700. On the, put on the brakes there real yeah, quick before break. anybody gets too excited. Yeah, happy. Oh, I can get that for $200. No. Mm. <laughs> Some DC stuff. Mm. And this is the. Halloween Batgirl. Lovely. Halloween Batgirl. No mask. Okay. People will recognize her as being uh, as being Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Oh, that's who Batgirl is? Yeah. I, I just gave it away. And now everybody's going to know. Uh, it's an interesting know look to it. You know, it's still kind of uh, bombshell-ish. Bombshell yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's Halloween themed. It's kind of cute. I like mm -hmm. it. It's all right. Yeah. 125 for her and look at that Batman sideshow mm. and this is the Ark of Night Batman the Flashpoint Arc Prime of Night. One you meant Prime One Studios yeah the look at the base they do great Batman statues I think they've done more Batmans than anybody yeah I like and this they, one they though. put a lot into it too. yeah it does because we have the Prime One um Sir Serpentor. Serpentor. It's outstanding. It we is. did a review on that. If you haven't seen it, you can find it in our archives or find it in the uh, playlists. Yeah. But I'll show you a close up here. You can change him out so that he's see both arms are down now instead of and up. His head. And he's holding a sword. So there are a lot of interchangeable parts with this one so that you can display him and that's mixed media. however you wish. Yeah, mixed media. That's a very leather. Uh, leathery cape with wires in it so you can pose it flowing. And exactly. No, this is based on uh, on a video game, I think, actually. Oh. But you see also the mixed media in the shoulder pads yeah. and, and there's the alternate uh, face instead of um, having the closed mouth, the gritting teeth. This is a nice statue. And you can see the stubble. Yeah, you can beard. see the stubble in his chin. 975 Ooh. for this one. 975. But I, it's a lot. But mm -hmm. of course, when you get stuff from Prime One, there really is a lot of quality in it. It is. It really is. Mm -hmm. It is impressive. When you get it, you're probably not going to want to get rid of it. Probably. Ghost Rider. Limited okay. to 350 pieces. Now, this is the, a Sideshow 1 sixth scale figure. And Sideshow has done Ghost Rider before in black. This is the Johnny Blaze 70s Ghost Rider. He was all black before and with a white skull and the hair was orange. This one, they made it grittier. They He's got the bright red flaming, uh, it's not hair, it's mm -hmm. fire, mm -hmm. but uh, the bright red fire and... A, a more gritty looking skull and the proper traditional blue jumpsuit that Johnny Blaze wore in the 70s as opposed to the black one. Limited edition of 350 pieces from Sideshow Exclusive, 225 for this one. Oh, that's not bad. No. That's not a bad price. That is a nice figure. That's I like, like it. a hot toy price. Yeah. And S Sideshow does really nice six scale figures too. Mm -hmm. Icons Han Solo. It's a book, and it's basically like a kind of a timeline and biography of the Han Solo character. Mm. Forty dollars from Sideshow. If you're if you're big on the Star Wars universe, not me. You might be interested in that because you yeah. know, like I see, I knew a guy who was real big into that kind of stuff in Star Trek, and he had all the blueprints and stuff for all the ships, and he knew all of that stuff. Some people are just really into it. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Harry Potter pop-up book. <laughs> I haven't seen pop-up books in a long this is, time. And what you were looking at is the world's most expensive pop-up book because this will set you back 200 plus shipping. $200? $200 for oh the my God. Harry Potter Hogwarts pop-up book. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I yeah. I was in the pop-up book, but <laughs> golly. Wow. 
That's a lot for a pop-up book. It sure is. Mm, mm, mm. Well, there's a lot of huge Harry Potter fans. It is, yeah. It's an expansive universe. I, it, it probably would be nice if you have a lot of Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. And you kind of put that like in the middle or somewhere. You know where I see a problem with it, though? Where? Is if you display that, yeah. dust. Because where are you gonna put a enemy. dome? You gonna put oh, a dome God. over it? Yeah. It's an enemy you of all. Yeah. It's, it's a. It's a. Uh, the enemy of all collectors. It is. It's it the is. enemy. But you can put it in a dome figure. Uh, uh, thing if you got a nice high table. That's taking up a lot of space though. That looks like it's probably about four feet wide. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Because look at the book next to the guy. Yeah. But I mean, you could do a lot with that. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Edward Honda from Street Fighter mm. in white because you know they made them in different colors. Mm -hmm. And this is 274. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. I guess because it's not too much going on. It is mixed media. You look at the uh, pants. Yeah. I'm surprised it's, it's, it's that cheap. Yeah, 274 for the Edward Honda. Yeah. Their Street Fighters are fairly reasonable, and actually, they ran a big sale over Halloween. I don't know if some of the stuff I believe is still on sale. Yeah, if that's catch spectacular. It. Yeah. They were sending out emails like every Yeah, day. because every one of their statues like uh, anywhere from 25 to 75 off. So yeah. if you're thinking about anything, flip through it now while you can, and check back any holiday, because they do a lot of stuff for holidays. Yeah. And they but do giveaways. That's a, yeah, they do. This is a great price for this figure. Yeah, if you're in the Street Fighter. It's interesting, fighter. yeah. Oh, Jurassic Park, here we go. What's that? Carnotaurosaurus. Carnotaurosaurus. I'm glad you know that name. Yeah, and it is $352. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's small. Yeah. $352, because they, they've been cranking it out this year with the Jurassic Park they statues. They have. I'm surprised with how much Jurassic Park they've done. Yeah, and... Oh, something a, else? Carnal Tarasaurus again. Oh, is that a little bigger? Uh, it's in a different pose and it comes with the it, skull. Oh, See the little skull yeah. replica? 424 for this mm, set. Yeah. And you gotta pay a little extra for yeah, that skull. That skull. Mm -hmm. Darth Maul life size bust with a removable hood because it is mixed media. I like it without the hood. Yeah, I think it looks, it looks better with the hood. He wore the hood most of the time, except when he was fighting to take it down. Yeah. 1,150. What? Life-size bust. But still, it's just <laughs> the hair and the hood. Oh, Life-size yeah. busts are not cheap. Wow. That looked leathery, the uh, face. Well, his makeup was kind of like that. If you saw him in the movie, that's mm -hmm. a pretty good... Uh, Comparison to it looks how like a looked. leather mask mm -hmm. on his face. It's good paint. Yeah, I mean they did a fantastic mm -hmm. job. It looks like a leather mask, you know, a leather overlay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Jewelry from Nightmare Before Christmas. I just put Is this these. Sasha? Yes, I put it all up together. Oh, just Jesus, so that I wouldn't have to. Jesus, one hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> oh my God, we she got had, like, real gold. She, and she, <laughs> Like, she had a call, she had a call on the Lord. <laughs> Be quiet, but I mean, oh, whoa. This is pre-orders. I don't know what material they're made out of. It looks like ceramic, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. But I just put it all together as a group. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised actually to see them doing a lot of this kind of yeah, stuff, especially the bags. The book bag. Fifty-six dollars for the bag there. Yeah. But well, I am surprised. Yeah, this is not the kind of thing you normally see. They dabble in it every once in a yeah. while. They put a watch out or a yeah. necklace, but this is the oh, moment. letter opener. Yeah, so that kind of surprised me. But mm -hmm. go ahead and show it. I to thought you. that was Funko when you. No, no. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I thought. I was like, oh, okay, moving into Funko. Oh no. wow, Science show doing that. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, franchises. Yeah. I wonder why they don't do a statue of Jack or Sally or something. Yeah, they have it. I don't believe. I mean, they're doing that. They obviously they got the license. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ryu in blue. I think that this is good. Player Two Ryu mixed mm -hmm. media. They got several. Cause didn't you show? You, well, yeah, you they had a Ryu you. and they had the evil Ryu mm -hmm. also. And this is another version. And he's got the energy flow building up behind him and everything yeah. and the mixed media. It looks really good. I like this one. I like the blue. 
280. Oh, yeah. See, their, their street fighters don't cost a lot. Yeah, and that's pretty decent detail. Yeah, it looks really good. And it's incredible the way his eyebrows go past his headband. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how it was drawn. So, on the uh, game. But yeah, hey, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yep. Star Scream. The animated one. Yeah, it's a statue that is not a drawing. It it's looks like painted a drawing. to look like the animation. And they did a great job with the paint. And you see that he's holding the Megatron pistol. Mm -hmm. That is Megatron. Because they would do that. I don't know why. Because he hated Starscream. That he would transform himself yeah, into a gun. And Starscream will always be the one shooting. And shrink. Because uh, physical dynamics mean nothing to the Transformers. And then Starscream would be shooting him instead of using his own guns. I never got that. I always liked but Soundwave. I liked his voice. His voice, yeah. Soundwave had a great voice. And then all them tapes would just fall out of the Yeah, he pressed the button. Mind. He had like four cassettes in there and they'd help him out. <laughs> <laughs> Transforming <laughs> into stuff. They must have been bored sitting in there waiting for you something to do. You know what would be cool? If they did a Soundwave and it came with all the tapes. Uh-huh. You know, they had the four different tapes of whatever. I think they have a, a pack of Soundwave, the Transformer toy, with the tapes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I've seen a review on that. But I mean, Sideshow. As a show, statue? Yeah, did the statue, and then it comes with the little tapes. You know what would be cool, too, is that they have like a, a, a set of stands. Mm -hmm. So you could make it like he, he could be standing there pressing the button, and the deck would be open. Mm -hmm. And then you could have them all flying through the air looping out. <laughs> 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 that'd be kind of hard to uh, yeah, piece together, I think, though. But you could just set the tape down. And take a oh, look at the look size. At the, it is 26 and a half inches tall. Look at the base. The base is pretty cool. With the, He's like um, got the thrusters on. And you also notice that the arms have been changed. Yeah. Because they're not, the, the at least the right arm has been changed out because he does not have the pistol anymore. He's just in flight mode. So the pistol comes with it. Well, yeah, in well, the, in whole, that the arm, whole arm that comes arm. off. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you have the opportunity to do him without the Megatron. 750 Whoa. for that one. That's P nice. PCS huh? Collectibles, I think, did this one. Mm. Oh, that's the Godfather. Vito Colorone. Yeah, Vito Colorone. They should have done the Godfather. Street car name design. Oh, yeah, that was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was. That was <laughs> He did a lot, um, his older movies. He did a lot of really good movies. Yeah, I never back saw in the, in the 50s, 60s. This, this one, though. Yeah. Mixed media mm -hmm. statue, one tenth scale, I believe, 500. Oh, okay. And you're asking, you know, it's not that big of a statue. Why is it so much? Because those franchise rights are not cheap for this particular individual. Martin Brando did, huh? Yeah, but somebody owns his rights. Yeah, Someone true. owns the rights to his likeness. Mm -hmm. And they want their money. Yeah. They want that big want slice money. of that pie. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter wand collection. See? It's books and a replica wand and comes in that little tube. and You get the idea. It comes Black in that nice up. display box. Mm -hmm. And like the pop-up book, this is also 200 bucks. You can put that all together, make your own little diorama. You could. A little display. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Weapon X. That is Wolverine. After they uh, converted him, because you know his bones are coated with a metal. And that's why he's got all those plugs on him. This mm -hmm. is when he's escaping from that. Oh. And I'll show you here because he has. An alternate head without that, that big helmet. Um, Jackman, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Jackman. No, that's not Hugh Jackman. This mm -hmm. one is comic book based, and it's uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, Kota Bukaya made this. Kota Bukaya, mm -hmm. and it's three hundred and twenty mm -hmm. for this one. So no sexy females from Kota Bukaya this week. You get Wolverine, <laughs> although it good coloring on it. You can actually see the blue in his veins and yeah, the chest hair and leg hair. Yeah. So they, they put some detail into it. Yeah, they did. Fantastic Worlds, The Art of are William we still Stout. Yes, we are. I told you they had a lot this week. He was a, a well known artist, and this is a book showcasing, or showcasing, showcasing. Look at a Hulk in his the back. Art. Yeah, oh, the statue? Yeah, yeah gla uh, Gladiator Hulk. Or no, that's not a statue. That's the, that's the Hot Toys Gladiator Hulk, Hulk, isn't it? 
Yes, the Funko. No, it's not. The tennis hook. No, that's the hot toys. With one. the hammer. <laughs> oh well, he would have hammer. the only hammer that's that's not broken. Yeah, well, they fixed it. They glued theirs together. You sitting down? Mm -hmm. Good thing that you are. And those of you at home, take a seat real quick. This book is four hundred and ninety-five dollars. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred ninety-five. You can get almost bucks. two of the, the uh, Street Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> For that. I don't know. I have no idea why this book is that much. I, I, I really guess don't. that guy demands a he's lot a for He's a really well-known artist from the 70s, and he's got good work. But oh, I don't I know why, why it's that much. Mm. And we're done with that. And I'm going to show you something from Four Horsemen. Oh. And this is... Masters of the Universe realization figures from Four Horsemen. I've seen those. These figures I've seen are the battle cap. Yeah, I've seen the battle cap before. And they're five standard figures. You've got obviously He-Man, Viking looking He-Man there. Mm -hmm. Skeletor, who has an alternative head that's blue, I think. Mm -hmm. Um and Man at Arms and then Battle Cat mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. And these are about seven inches tall. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like an art concept version of Masters of the Universe that's part of their Mythic Legions line. Yeah. So if you're into MOTU and you wanted to experiment, experiment with something else, this is just an alternative. So I was throwing it out there. Yeah, That Battle Cat one came out a while back, though. I but wanted it, the Battle Cat. Yeah, it came out with some other figures, not uh -huh. those. It came out with three others. I, I didn't recognize the other yeah, ones. Yeah, because it's I the Mythic that. Legions. Yeah, the Battle Cat. Because the Mythic Legions characters typically are completely invented by the Four Horsemen Studios. Yeah. They're not franchised to anybody. Yeah. That's why. And they're very popular with uh, a lot of collectors. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, that's going to do it for all that. We're going to take a look at Funko now. Sideshow. Yeah, Sideshow had a lot this week. Mm -hmm. Funko, Funko, Funko. Has an Aquaman, Jim Lee diorama again. Mm. Third, the third one because they did the Batman and Joker, which are already out. I saw the Batman and it actually looked pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. This is a GameStop exclusive. This okay. one, Aquaman, mm -hmm. and he's killing one of those, uh, Le I forget what they call them, those uh, Fishman legions. Mm -hmm. Stabbing him in the back, Aquaman. That's not pretty That's cool. That's how you do it. Yeah, Stab I guess so. I like Stab that he. Stab I like Stab him. I like that his uh, shirt has a metallic sheen to it. Yeah. yeah Basketball. So pick two molds and then change the head. I only recognize one of them people. That guy, I don't know his name, the top one, the black with guy the with the big, big beard. Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen him. Seen him on, yeah. We don't follow basketball. We don't follow the NBA. No so we don't know who these are. Just letting you know that yeah. they're on their way. In case you want them. In case you want them. And... More. So are these six more who we also don't know yeah. who they are. Yeah, we really don't care. Who, yeah, well, no, well, we're not interested in these. No. Somebody is. Yeah. To each his own. Yep. Crash Bandicoot. That's at GameStop right now. Already. I know. They already. Saw it today when and we they were just, at GameStop. because they've been kicking it around for a while, but then now they finally did the official release. Yeah. And. They're already showing up in yep, the store. Yeah, because we saw, what, three of them. I know we saw that Tiki. Yeah. Um, I think we saw all of them. Funny enough, the one that we did not see at GameStop was the GameStop exclusive. <laughs> well, I don't know if we saw it or I don't not. Think but we I, saw I, that. I know we saw the other three. I, I know for sure the Tiki was there. While we were there, I found a Chase. Oh, yeah. He found one. And an old Chase. It's, it's an old one. It's from like one. over. It's like from over a year ago. Yeah, he's been wanting it. And forgot all about yeah, it. Yeah, but uh, you'll see that in our next um, hunt, hunt video. Yeah. Some Dragon Ball Z stuff. This is Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Yeah, I like how he's got like electrically charged like energy bolts floating around the figure. Oh, it's different. different. Okay. And there's more from Dragon Ball Z. Uh oh. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, where his hair gets long for some mysterious reason and then shrinks again when he goes to Super Saiyan 4. It grows and then it shrinks. Oh, nope. that's how it is on the TV? Yes. Oh, okay. He has he has wild hair anyway. He's yeah. not like his big messy afro or whatever, and his big shunts of hair coming out uh, like a punk rocker or something. And then it just turns yellow, mm -hmm. and then it turns into that and goes all the way down his ankles. And then it changes again and shrinks. 
No explanation. Don't know why he does that. Mm -hmm. And Son Goku yes, floating his, on his son? the cloud. No, that is Goku when he was a kid. Oh, okay. Referred to as Son Goku. Mm -hmm. So he and that's flying Nimbus is what he's sitting on. Mm -hmm. It's a cloud. Yeah. You can only sit on it if you're pure of heart. Oh, so he was pure of heart when he, he was a kid. Yeah. Not now. Well, no, I, I think he always was. Mm. But anyone else sits on that, they'll fall through. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Today's, or Friday's, release from the Funko shop is Jack Skellington. Mm -hmm. as the supersized vinyl. However, this one is a diamond exclusive, which means that it's got the, on all the white parts, it's got that diamond glitter look. I didn't get that, but I got the regular one. Yeah. And I'm happy with that. This one was 80 plus shipping. 80 plus. It was more than double the retail yeah. price of the because other one. Because in the store, it's only 32 You go to Hot Topic. Yeah. $32, down, and then you get all your discounts, so you don't even pay that much. Yeah, I'm surprised that they wanted that much for it. Well, they want money for that glitter. I guess. Maybe it's hand-painted. Glitter costs. <laughs> Donald Duck backpack and you know, little clutch pocket. purse, mm -hmm. I guess, from the lounge fly because you know they connected the lounge yeah. fly, and uh, they're making a big deal out of this one. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't wear backpacks, so mm. the Harley Quinn in Christmas colors because we just can't stop making Harley Quinn. Well, bombshell Harley Quinn in Christmas colors. Yeah, she's one of the ones that's kind of getting played. Like uh, Batman mm -hmm. and Deadpool, and Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, the one they just keep cranking them out yeah. to uh, for certain styles. Harry Potter. Potter going into the ten and a half pillar, which is a reference to a scene from the first film. If and that's you, a movie moment, movie realization moment. And I, I is that a Hot Topic exclusive or Box Lunch exclusive? I don't remember. Somebody knows, and you can yeah, go ahead and put it in the comment section something. down below. Because uh, I don't, I can't remember everything. Mm -hmm. I try. Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. I uh, think that's from the new movie. Though. Yeah, the new movie because it says Mary Poppins returns, even though the actors who played Mary Poppins and who played the chimney sweep uh, can't do it anymore. Are they did? <laughs> no, I think she might be deceased. But it was Dick Van Dyke who played the chimney sweep. Mm -hmm. He's still alive, but he's not going to do what he did when he was in Mary Poppins. I saw he was, bits and pieces. He was an amazing dancer. I saw a super califragilistic song. Yeah. And I think that's it. I, I, don't, I, I know I never saw the entire movie. I know uh -huh. I saw that part. Really, under, that. really underrated Disney film, Chitty mm -hmm. Chitty Bang Bang. With Dick Van Dyke. Mm -hmm. Look up Dick Van Dyke Bamboo Cane. And watch that dance scene. No, unbelievable. I didn't want to see that. Yeah, unbelievable. Bill on the roof dance scene was good with the Russian dancers. Yeah, that was good too. Mm -hmm. Mary Poppins returns again. We final got a two final two pack and a rock candy figure. Yeah. Because they love cranking out. I wonder how well those are doing. Rock candies. The rock candies, yeah. I love if they're them. that popular. Because they're making a lot more of them lately. Yeah, maybe they are popular. More, and Mary, more Poppins. Mary Poppins. What's the difference? I don't see. Well, one actually, hot it's the same. You know, it's it's the same four, but there's the hot topic. Oh, okay. Exclusive. So you got a double picture. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I know. It's, it's fun to confuse people. Mm -hmm. Throw them off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? The Monday. Or Wednesday, Monday release. I think I they had know, they had know. the Pez three pack mm -hmm. for fifteen plus shipping. Fifteen dollars each. No, fifteen dollars for the three. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Which is unfortunately actually cheaper than they've been selling retail. Yeah, because in the stores, retail like they're like bucks? six, seven dollars piece oh. at least, maybe ten. Yeah, but then when you with shipping, it uh. It'll catch up. Yeah. Because they're gonna charge us six ninety five no matter how they ship it. Yeah. More Pez while we're on it. Yeah. And you may Huckleberry as well see Hounds. a lot of Huckleberry Hounds because they love doing All that. The different colors. Secret Squirrel and you know, uh, Morocco Mole. That's right, Morocco Mole. I remember those two. Snagglepuss. Mm -hmm. Some Marvel ones. Four Deadpool's. This is what I just say about Deadpool. Yeah. Box lunch, hot topic, a hot topic chase, 
cable more there's the glow uh hulk and loki some of these i think are already out but they re-released these images again so mm -hmm. i'm showing them again yeah more pez yeah yeah of course and that is the pez boy that is the classic oh, pez okay. boys uh regular face queen thank god no queen, Freddie Mercury. Yeah, and there is an FYE exclusive done in diamond. His pants are diamond. Had that and diamond he took glitter. His shirt off. Yeah, he took his shirt off. But of course, you know the the movie is coming out. Another. I thought it was only four of them. Five figures. Yeah, but I mean, I thought it was. Oh, okay, it was five in the band. I thought it was. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, was. yeah, yeah. I remember now. Okay. Five in a band. Rudy, I don't know who Rudy is. It was a movie. I think was it was it? a um, yeah. He was played for Notre Dame. I think he was disabled, oh. uh, mentally disabled, and he was a football player. It's one of them feel good movies. You okay. know how it. You can't play by the end of the movie. You make the the winning touchdown. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Funko He's tongue-tied because he missed it, and he like plastic, plastic, whatever that thing Spastic is. Spastic plastic. I yeah. don't have any. Yeah, but you want some. Yeah. yeah I just don't feel, time. I just don't want to run around trying to get them, you yeah. know? It, it gets exhausting. Mm -hmm. But, the, I mean, I like the spastic plastic line. These are cute, mm -hmm. you know, but no, I did not get them. Both Voltron. Them. And people have been waiting for them to get back to Voltron. They did a regular sized pop of the lion in a regular and a metallic version some time ago mm -hmm. and now they're finally getting back to it these are the five main characters from voltron they just put out that the guy with the um white hair last week right i remember seeing him with that thing on his mouth yeah he's he's in here too here's two more there's the six inch voltron and then you have the metallic voltron and then there's the Hot Topic exclusive, the one that you're talking about, the scar on his face. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, that's not a Hot Topic exclusive. The Hot Topic exclusive is him, but the Amazon Metallic exclusive yeah. is the six inch uh, lion, mm. which uh, you should probably have a pretty easy time of getting it from Amazon. Just hopefully, I don't want no, hopefully, I don't want that. hopefully they pack it well, because that's always an issue. Yeah, if not, just send it back. And then. <laughs> I would hate to work in Amazon's return section. Yeah. Wayne's World, Wayne's something world. people have been asking for for a long time. Who has been asking? People want to see Wayne's World. Yeah. But there's only actually three because the bottom is a two pack set of them playing hockey that's going to GameStop. But Wayne's that World. That thing said Target. What did I say? GameStop. Did I say GameStop? Wishful thinking because you won't find it at Target. GameStop might have it. Uh, Target, I don't not know. So well, yeah, they get better, so I believe. I don't know. I haven't been to Target at all. Yeah, we haven't looked in a little bit. And that's going to do it. That Is that enough? Day. Yeah, that's a long one today. Mm -hmm. So, anything that you saw that you really liked? I like that Mondo Skeletor. Yeah, one six scale so. Skeletor, sure. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the Mezco... Um, the neck of Cyclops. Um, Michael Myers. Yeah, neck of Michael Myers. Yeah, that's the only thing I saw that I wanted. And the Mezco Freddy. Who, me? No. Me. Oh. I know you don't want that. Yeah. I want <laughs> You don't want it until I get it. And then you're like, oh, maybe I should get one. No, I just take yours. No, 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 no. That can't happen. As it always happens. No, no. She she gets so much. She gets the lion share of everything. We do our unboxing videos or we do like uh, the hunt videos. And it's like Lady Pop Hunter's section, David's section. Sadness. Yeah, sadness. I'm like down here in the corner somewhere. <laughs> but uh, anyway, did you see anything that you liked? What did you like out of all that, oh, that stuff? It was a lot this week. Go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think or what you were interested in. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope that you did. Mm -hmm. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos. If you haven't, 
and we will see you again soon. They strike like lightning across the globe. A Cobra Force more powerful than ever before. Destroying everything in their path to get the raw materials they need to construct the ultimate weapon. And rule the world! But standing in their way, the greatest fighting force ever assembled! Ah!